These are devotions for people at a social distance. Today is, what is it, May 9th, 2020. This morning I woke up and looked outside and there was snow on the ground and it was awfully cold. And that just didn't seem right. You know, just, just a sign, a symbol that, that the times are not just right. And I realize that there are always variations in the weather, but we're feeling fragile these days. And something like that, I don't know, it kind of set me off. The times are not what they're supposed to be. Tomorrow is Mother's Day, a time when we are supposed to gather with our families, when when I'm supposed to go and hug my mother. And, well, that's not going to happen. It, it can't happen. The times are not what they should be. Tomorrow is the day at our church when we uh, traditionally plant potatoes. We plant potatoes to harvest them uh, for um, the food, uh, the Thursday night supper and socials uh, that will be held in the fall. Well, I know some people will be planting potatoes, but it's just not quite what it's going to be. And, and who knows what those suppers are going to look like in the fall at this point. The times are not what they are supposed to be. Well, this morning, I uh, was reading from Psalm 31, uh, verse 15. So this verse kind of struck me. It's it's in the midst of a long lament, a complaint uh, by the psalmist. Uh, But in verse 15, he says this, My times are in your hands. My times are in your hand. Maybe that's the message we need today. Uh, much of the the control that we exert in in this world exert in this world uh, is over our time. We try to control everything about time. Well, the reminder today in the weather is that the times are not really in our hands. I guess they are in God's hands. And yes, these are unusual times. And these are frightening times, and these are worrying times, and times when we cannot do the kinds of things that we would like to be doing. What does it mean to confess, my times are in your hand? My times are in your hand. It's difficult to let go of control over your times, to recognize that you cannot do the things with your times that you would like to do. But there is also a comfort, is there not, in knowing that my times are not in the hands of the weather, not in the hands of the government and changes in government policy and and what you can and cannot do in a time of pandemic. My times are in the hands of God, and that is the place they need to be, and that is the best place for them to be. And yes, it's disturbing when you don't feel like you're controlling your times. But... Let's take the opportunity to learn to trust in God for our times. Lord God, my times are in your hands. It's not easy sometimes to confess that. But let me learn to take comfort in that. Because your hand is a loving hand and a caring and a compassionate hand. Amen.